guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. Today I am going to go over everything that I carry around in my diaper bag. It's been trial and error, learning what I do need, what I don't need, and so over the course of this 15 months now, I have learned kind of what the necessities are. So I want to share those with you. Now first, for my diaper bag. I used to carry like an actual diaper bag, but um, I don't know, it was getting so beat up all the time, and so finally, around Christmas time, I got this, it's just from Victoria's Secret, the pink line, um, it's just one of their campus backpacks, and it's huge, and it has a lot of pockets, and so it makes for a great diaper bag, because it's super easy to keep organized. So let's start with the outside pockets, it has two. And so on one side, I keep Creed's sippy cup. That way, it's just quick to grab it out. If we're ever like at the store or we're on the run, I can just grab it out of the side and it's not actually in the bag itself, which makes a huge difference for me because having to get the bag off, get inside of it, take everything out while trying to wrangle him was just not possible. So it's made a huge difference having it on the outside. The other thing I do that my husband like seriously wants to kill me for is I keep my wallet on the other side and now when we go out of town or we're like in a bigger city I don't keep it out here because you never know what's gonna happen but in our town where we're from I feel pretty comfortable having it there I can feel like if people mess with my bag really easily and half the time if we're out shopping I'll go ahead and put my whole bag into the cart and so it doesn't bother me as much because it's right there in sight um, but it makes it really handy and convenient to just be like I said be able to reach around the side and grab it out whenever I need it Next let's go to the front pocket, and I kind of call this like the mommy pocket. It's where I keep a lot of my stuff and so In this pocket I'll have like I have keys to our house. I have my car key Then I keep um, like a pin some chapstick a notepad because I'm always writing down like video ideas or when I'm out I'm always like stalking the area for places to take Instagram photos so I'll write addresses down in here that I want to revisit like in the future um, or it's great for grocery lists anything I definitely recommend keeping a list or something that you can put a list on in your bag next let's see we have just some gum and then this isn't a mommy item but I do sometimes use it it's a little comb and so I definitely, I'm a gumaholic, and so I have to have gum everywhere I go. And so having it in this front pocket here just makes it so easy to just grab a piece out when I'm on the go. Next we have our middle pocket, and this is like the ultimate food pouch. So in our bag, um, I have realized that snacks are key to survival as a mother <laughs> and a toddler, I guess. Um, so I always keep a jar of puffs in there because when we're out, these are so easy for Cree to just like munch on, and it's not like... A big filling snack and so if he's just craving something I'll give him these next I have just this little bag of pretzels these are one of my favorite grocery store hacks you don't have to get this brand of course but I like to take the bag and then I'll roll it down and sit it next to him in the cart and he can just feed himself while we're in the cart we have some of those food containers that have the rubber on top that you can put your hand in but he just never really enjoyed using those so I found that this is easy and uh, you just throw the bag away when you're done these pretzels are super good, by the way. They're by the brand Quinn. I get these at Whole Foods. They're gluten-free, uh, touch of honey pretzels, and they are supposed to be like non-GMO, farm fresh, so we really, really like these, like all of us, even my husband. Next in our front pocket, you guys know by now, Creed loves these snack bars, and so I keep a whole box worth in my bag because he eats them like crazy. So it's always nice to have one um, if he, if we're in the car or whatever, I'll just throw one back to him and he can just munch on it. Next, I keep this little guy. This is actually one of those apple munchers, or you can, it doesn't have to be for apples. It can be for really anything that you want to put in here. And so what I'll do is, um, I'll just wash it and put it back in the bag because if we're out and say, I mean, now he's more eating solid foods, but before when he would want like avocado or whatever, and he wasn't like very good at getting it to his mouth, we would use this all the time. And he still uses it for apples just to munch on, or I'll give him something cold in there if his teeth are bothering him. This is really great to have one of these handy. Next, I keep, these are sunglasses. Um, this is by the brand Beba. I love all their stuff. They make some really cute things for kids. These little sunglasses are so adorable. 
Uh, Creed won't keep them on right now, but I'm hopeful that sometime in the future he will keep them on his face. Next, I just keep an extra onesie. Um, I just got this one out Old Navy, but you can keep anything you want. Just in case of like a blowout or something, a onesie is something that he can just throw on and have on by itself because he's still a baby. I used to keep outfits and outfits and outfits in the bag and I was never using them or I would forget they were in there and so I would carry more outfits like in the car. And so just having this one single onesie is a really easy thing to have. Next is one of my saddest things, but I always keep it just for myself. This was Creed's first little onesie when he was born and this was preemie size and this was too big for him when he was first born. And so I always like think it's nice to be able to look back on this just if I'm ever, you know, up in my feels, I'll look at this and it just reminds me like, wow, I made now a toddler instead of just this tiny little baby. So gosh, why did I even look at this right now? Ugh. Then I have this fork and spoon. This is from that same brand, Beba, and he loves using these. And so when we're out, I'll let him, these are great for traveling because they're in this little kit and I'll let him use the fork and spoon while we're out at restaurants. He loves trying to feed himself now. So it's been really nice to have this. And even if your baby's not feeding themselves yet, I totally recommend having these because then you can just use it. You don't have to worry about like interchanging silverware or making sure you have a spoon because I know that was something I always struggled with, keeping a dang spoon in the bag. Next, I have just a ton of food pouches. I keep these in at all times because they're so handy to have. Creed loves eating them and now he can eat them by himself so they're extra handy because if we're in the car seat or whatever he can just grab one and do it himself. Next we have a toothbrush because number one Creed loves chewing on a toothbrush and number two I like to always have this for myself also if I'm ever out and I I don't know you eat something like funky for lunch and you just want to like kind of clean those things I love having a toothbrush on hand. I used to always carry one in my purse too so I hope that's not weird. We're in the final pouch the big pouch this thing has a mother load. First, I have my camera bag. Then we just have a couple little toys. Then, of course, a rubber duck. You guys know that Creed is obsessed with his ducky, and so one of them is with us at all times, so I have one in the bag, of course. Then I just have a little blanket. Um, this isn't necessarily a swaddle blanket. It's just a little cotton blanket, and this was actually the blanket that Creed came home in, and so that's kind of a sentimental thing, but it's also there in case we get chilly or in the car. I know sometimes the AC is a little too cold for him, so we'll put the little blanket over his lap. Then I just have this little emergency bag. We have more gum, of course, two packs. Like I said, I'm a gumaholic. And then I just have some little lotions, um, some sunblock, chapstick, more chapstick, and then I have Creed's vaccination card because I was losing that all the time. So I just put it in this little bag that stays in the diaper bag, so I always have it at appointments. Then we just have some Germix. Next, the changing pad. I totally 150,000 million percent recommend having a changing pad in your diaper bag. Now, I know a lot of places now have the changing table that folds down, but if you think about it, there's been a lot of baby butts on there and no judgment at all, but if somebody doesn't get their butt clean properly or it gets on there and they don't clean it correctly, I just get really OCD about that. And so I always have my own changing pad that I know is clean and that I can put Creed on. This is full of just some wipes and diapers. And so I always have those on hand. And then I also have this little poop bag. These are great to have on hand if you ever have to change them in the back of the car, which I've had to do countless times. Um, if it's a poopy diaper, it's nice to be able to have these. They're by Arm & Hammer. And so they have like an odor blocking technology type of thing. So it makes it so they don't stink. That is key. Okay, and then in the back pouch, I just have a few little things. Um, I have these boogie wipes, and these are made specifically for like your nose, so they're really soft on them. I use Pampers Sensitive Wipes for Creed's behind um, when I change him, but I like these better for the nose, like if he has a runny nose or cold or whatever. They're a lot softer, even more than the sensitive wipes that I use. Then we have the Shout Wipes. These come in handy all the time. I have gone through so many boxes of these. Then we have this little mat. And so what you do with this is when you're out at a restaurant, you can put this on the table and it won't slide around and then you can put their food on it so that you can always keep it wiped off and clean. Um, and so they're eating off of this and not off of the table. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful. Maybe you found out some new things that you should put in your bag or maybe some things that you might need. Let me know in the comments below some things that maybe I haven't thought of that you like to carry with you and that I should add to my bag. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more of my daily shenanigans, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Um, a lot of this stuff I have because I will...
because it's super easy to keep. Maybe that huge coffee was a bad idea. I don't know. He's mowing. What is he doing? Now he's inside the fence mowing. My gracious. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Be better to be safe than sorry, right? God, go away with the mower. Because we all know how much these babies can poop and how bad it stinks. I think this is the last thing in the whole bag. Wow. And what I do with this... The stretch. My back is so sore. You're so... Bye, 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 bye,